Turkey is both blessed and burdened by geography. While long seen as the West's foothold to the east, recent foreign policy decisions out of the Turkish capital Ankara are casting doubt on where their loyalties lie. Three main issues are driving this discussion in Istanbul amongst intellects from both the U.S. and Turkey. Ankara's talks with Beijing about buying a Chinese missile defense system, its alleged ambivalence towards allowing foreign fighters across its borders into Syria, and what's seen as cozier ties with Iran at the expense of Israel. I think there's a perception that Turkey has made a choice to turn its back on the West and to uh, throw its lot in with the Middle East. And I think there's a lot of overheated rhetoric in the U.S. that Turkey is trying, actively trying to develop an Islamic character and reject its ties to the West, and I don't think, I think that's an accurate view. While the West may see these moves as a direct snub, economics, long-term security, and geocultural elements set the tone of Turkey's foreign policies. In the last 10 years, we see that this uh, growing volume of uh, involvement uh, in the region affairs is mostly in the context of the Middle East, and the Middle East uh, uh, connects to Turkish identity through the religious uh, dimension, through Islam, Islamic uh, civilization. So the increasing uh, level of interaction with the Middle East uh, sometimes raises questions in some Western circles what Turkey is up to. On the other hand, Ankara is accused of abruptly changing foreign policies to suit regional power opportunities. Some see Turkey's recent foreign policy decisions as an attempt to meet short-term goals at the expense of long-term objectives. The policy of letting foreign fighters into Syria through the Turkish border, uh, whether whether it was that the government turned a blind eye to Nusra fighters going in or whether they actively enabled it, and uh, depending on who you talk to, uh, it, it's one or the other. But but either way, it was a very short-sighted policy that was focused on letting fighters in in the hopes of getting rid of Assad and then worrying about the long-term fallout afterwards. Economically vibrant and politically self-confident, it appears Turkey has outgrown the role allotted to it by the West. Now it has interests, options and rights of its own. Yet the West is still very much a part of the regional dominance Turkey seeks, whether Ankara likes it or not. Natalie Carney for CCTV in Istanbul, Turkey.